Hey guys, welcome to the Fridge Podcast. You may be asking, what's the Fridge Podcast? What's the Fridge? Who are you? And why are you on my screen? Well, my name is Ryan, and my friend Justice here is my co-star. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, you may be asking, who am I? Well, my channel's Froyo. You may be coming from there, because I'm going to upload this first episode on my channel and this channel just to get some clout. Or the Fridge channel, you know, just to bring some people over. And you may be asking what the Fridge is. The Fridge is my group of friends. <laughs> That's really it. We have a Discord server where we have, like, different sections of the Fridge. This is actually our Fridge right here. Uh, I I live in the bottom left. Justice lives in top right. And yeah, well, I guess I just well, really, most of the people or all the boys, all the cool boys, live in, in the ice dispenser. Uh, shout out to my ice dispenser bros, but I'm stuck in bottom left because one person had to occupy each room. I don't, I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm like the only one in bottom left. There's also under the fridge, where the mostly AFK people lie. Yeah, it's just really Discord server, so that's the intro to the fridge. So now is Justice's favorite, the talk about whatever section, where we talk about whatever. So Justice, would you like to tell us you know, a story, or talk about anything? Jeff Daniels. Who's Jeff Daniels? What's up with him? Who's... Do you know who Jeff Daniels is? No. I can hate him. Who's Jeff Daniels? He's a 65-year-old man. And? Just look him up. Just look him up. Just look him up. Okay. What about him? Isn't his face annoying? He's in Dumb and Dumber? Yes. And 101 Dalm Dalmatians? And The Martian. He's in The Martian? Yeah. I did not see that. He's in a lot of popular movies. Like, because of when Dixie. He's 6'3". He's taller than both of us. He's also in the Steve Jobs movie. I didn't even know that's a thing. They made a movie. Yeah, you didn't know that? No. I don't pay attention to Apple things. Oh. Apple things. That reminds me. That's a good thing to talk about. Uh, so, one of the things that annoys me the most <laughs> is when people say, are you, app or, are you Apple or Android? Those are two different things. Because iOS, <laughs> right, is an operating system. It's the operating system of Apple. Android is an operating system. You can't compare a company that makes computers, phones, watches, other garbage products to an operating system. Because honestly, if I'm being honest, I I like iPhones. But Sometimes they're very expensive. It's not. I feel All like of their products are mostly expensive. I feel like their products are. You're paying for the brand and not the product, right? Because everyone knows. It depends. If you if you look at the features in the newer iPhone, they're all, But like, if you look at the features in the newer iPhones, they're all the same, and all like in the ten, not necessarily. in the eleven. Um, the, like all that stuff, they're all. But... Has a, a, a superb. A superb what? Like I'm not just gonna lie, the camera is amazing. Yeah, but my Google Pixel Four XL, right? It's like I don't know, eight hundred dollars. I don't remember. It's like eight hundred or seven hundred. Still a lot of money. And it has the best camera on the market, and it's cheaper than that. And what's the? Are you sure the best camera on the market? Yeah. Are you sure of that? Yeah. Do you know what the iPhone 11 camera is? Yeah, it's... Which... Oh my god, I can't spell. Which phone... I'm gonna read it out to you. Okay? Has the best camera. 
Ugh, motor Motorola, gross. Upgraded dual lens camera system and includes an f 1.86 element 12 megapixel wide angle lens and an f24 5 element 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens up from a, a single 12 megapixel camera in the iPhone XR. It's substantially better than the iPhone. If you look that close and you look to the. Hmm. I just, ugh. I feel like I I just don't <laughs> like like it. I don't like Apple. You can get a comparison between the um, Google Pixel three and the iPhone eleven. Yeah, but that's that's the three. We're way past. Really, it's the 4A, because that's coming out in, like, July. What is there information on that? I don't know. Um, the 4XL is the newest one, or the one that I have. Yeah, I think so, at least. But, when you're comparing, again, Apple to Android, you can't do that, because Android's, like, a vast sea of different types of products. Like, what runs on Android? Motorola, LG, Samsung, Google, a lot of different phone brands run on Android. And Android has different capabilities, right? So that's why not all of those Android phones are the same. They have different features and stuff. And I just think that it's an unfair comparison because you can't compare it to an operating system. But, yeah. But when they say Android, they're trying to say some, you know, like. But people. I I'm assuming they're trying to say Samsung or just Android product. They just think. When people think of Android, most of them think of Samsung. Which. Yeah. I know Samsung's probably the biggest product line. And the most popular Android, but it's not all Androids. Like, there's a bunch of Androids that are better than Samsung phones. Obviously, a lot of Samsung phones are very good, very high tech, you know. But I don't, I don't think that you can compare them. Do you want to move on to the next topic? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hold on, let me end it with this. <laughs> Jeff Daniels, if you're watching this, don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. J just, Don't just say watch it. out, Jeff Daniels. <laughs> that, <w> <laughs> That's not a threat. That's not a threat. <laughs> okay, next topic. So Mojang Studios, the creators of Minecraft, changed the name and logo. And you mean, you know, that may not be like the biggest news ever, right? But more important stuff came with that reveal. They had a reveal trailer for, you know, the new uh, logo, new name. I like, what do you like better? Do you like the new logo or the old logo better? Not at all. Not at all. The older logo I like 100% more. <laughs> I don't know. I really like... Primarily... I don't know. It I looks like, like they're just trying to appeal to the newer users. I feel like what's happening... Like people coming... Um, for Minecraft. Yeah. I just feel... Like, it's trying to appeal to new or old um, Minecraft players. Yeah, I feel like I have a more sense of nostalgia with the first one. But I also kind of like the design of the new one. I know the reason that they did that, which was because they were expanding more, they were, like, getting more studios around the world. And also... <laughs> They're expanding their brand, I guess, because recently, or I think recently, or I don't know if it's not out yet, Minecraft Dungeons, right? Which is like a Minecraft RPG. Have you heard of it? I haven't heard of it, actually. Uh, They released a new like Minecraft kind of RPG game. It's very interesting. It looks great. Uh, It's like Minecraft Story Mode, if Minecraft Story Mode had better writing, and was, like, I liked Minecraft. you were fully active. I liked it, but the writing was kind of meh. 
especially towards later in the seasons. Also, the whole YouTuber part kind of, eh, you know. Uh, the YouTuber murder mystery. Like, uh. But. They released Minecraft Dungeon. Like, look it up right now. It looks Hold great. On. Quick shout out to Ruben. Quick shout out to Ruben. Oh, God, I cry. A spoiler alert. I mean, I'm sure everyone knows this. But Ruben dies. I think you can save him. I don't know. I tried a lot. But I cried when he first died because I didn't know what was going to happen. Because the first thing I remembered was I was watching a playthrough of it. And then it got to that point and I watched the playthrough, per the person who's playing it. I watched Ruben die and I was really sad about that. And then. I found out he died before. I was trying to get through to no spoilers. And then I'm scrolling through Reddit and there. Oh. Yeah. I was trying to, like. <laughs> I still remember. I was watching. I was so sad, but I was watching a video. And it was like, how to save Ruben. And I tried over and over and over again. And I couldn't get it. And I started freaking out and having, like, anxiety. And I was like, am I really just bad at this game? Because I want to save this pig. I want to, like, you know. And he just died. Yeah. But, anyway. So, <laughs> during... Oh, hold on. Hold on. I need to tell a story about Minecraft. Okay. Me and Ben. We stayed home from school the uh, two days in a row just sleep uh, we just slept over and uh, okay one day just so you we know wake not up. everyone knows who ben is ben is That's justice's like, friend probably, yeah like probably one of my best friends yeah uh not even probably. he is he, he is but okay. i i take a close second um <laughs> <laughs> no okay <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Okay, just let me tell the story. So we woke, we woke up, and um, Ben's like, "What do you want to do?" I was like, "I don't care." He turns on the Xbox and he says, "We are beating Minecraft." Oh wow, that's ambitious. I was like, "Whoa!" I was like, "Are you sure?" He was like, "Yeah." So we are playing the entire day. Mm -hmm. Um, literally. Didn't even look away from the screen, I don't think. Oh my uh, his grandma bought us McDonald's. Which, let me tell you, the signature order that we always get. Uh, <laughs> one Big Mac, ten piece nuggets, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Anyways. Um. Well, where was I? Yes. So, we get to the, you know. Basically, we're about to enter the end. Mm -hmm. He goes, are you ready? I was like, I, I'm ready. We jump in. Um, I We weren't on hardcore, because, like, you know, obviously not. That's the scariest thing ever. Oh, my God. I, I'll i tell my story after. But continue. Yeah, where you cheated on the hardcore world? No. The one where I tried my first hardcore world, and I was in full in armor, or full iron armor. And then I was doing so well, I was mining for diamonds, and a creeper snuck up behind me, blew me up, and the game just ended, and I was so sad. Because <laughs> I didn't know oh. that in hardcore, a creeper can kill you when you're in full armor. Full iron armor. Yeah, it's, it's so annoying. But let me continue the story. So, um, I was feeling quite ambitious. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, that, that whole, you know, we're beating Minecraft today. Uh, it got me kind of hype. Like adventure, so I came uh, Avengers Endgame ambitious, or like, you know. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Like, let's do so much of And I was like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, um, you know how at the end it'll show, like, what you killed the dragon with? Yeah. So I hit him with a bucket once. <laughs> 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 and the bucket showed up. Yeah, that was probably one of my greatest achievements. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was like, I killed him with a bucket. Which I didn't. I hit him with the bucket. But I tell everyone I killed him with a bucket. I watched a YouTuber who beat all of Minecraft with only a bucket. It it was it was so great. He does a bunch of like. How long did it take in the end? Oh my god, the final the three final hours. Minecraft credits. Oh my god. Yeah, they're so great, but they're so hard to 
bear once you've played the game like a million times. <laughs> like every time I you know, like wow. We're like this is this is worth it. It was it's so like philosophical. Yeah. And then you play it for like Minecraft for like the seventeenth time and you're reading through that and like, oh my gosh, please <laughs> I just wanna see my dogs again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, it was probably one of the proudest moments of my life. Uh, there's this YouTuber that I watch who can he's beaten Minecraft with a bucket. He's beaten Minecraft with like jump boost three and constant jumping. He does like a bunch of streams, like almost maybe once a week, where he streams Minecraft but doing challenges, like one where it was Minecraft but he can't break any blocks. Uh, How? How Minecraft, but he can't use any tools or wear any armor. He's so good at the game. That's how it used to be when I was in kindergarten. Yeah, but... He was like, no armor. He's so good at the game. It's amazing watching his streams. They take like three hours, but which is crazy. Because three hours may seem like a long time, but for someone who plays Minecraft, like... <laughs> Weren't you on it for like eight hours today? What game were you on for eight hours? I was playing Brawlhalla, but I wasn't actually for playing. eight hours. No, I wasn't playing the game because I was working on the game today, or, or was playing the game today, and they came out with like a battle pass, and I wanted to buy it. It's like ten dollars, so I go to my mom like, "Hey, can I buy this battle pass for ten dollars?" No, because I was the game was just resting, right? My computer was there. Okay. So, a couple hours later, right, my mom's like, hey, or after I've eaten something, my mom's like, hey, let's go down to basement, uh, if you do some work, right, like cleaning out the basement, I'll give you $10 an hour. So, like, I do the first hour, oh my gosh. Why not do, like, little bits of work at a time? The longer you're down there, the more money you get. Yeah, I, I did. I was down there for like three hours. In a straight. Three hours straight, then I ate some food, and then I came back upstairs and I bought the battle pass, but that was so painful. Anyway, so, <laughs> back to what we were talking about here. Right. Because like, we didn't even get to finish this topic. Uh, they're planning a. It says, during the announcement, they said, we are planning a future film, an epic live show, and playing with ideas for brand new games. I just realized I didn't. If they, milk, if they use the movie, this is what I'm imagining. They're going to milk Minecraft until it's completely, like, just in, uh, irrelevant. Yeah, but they have to. It's such a big game, you know? Everyone knows yeah, Minecraft. I know. But, like, that's going to get so awful. I feel like, like I already can't stand Minecon. Like even when I was like nine, I couldn't stand Minecon. They stopped doing Mine. Well, this, uh, they did Minecon on Earth and then Minecon Live. They've slowly been taking away from it. But I always wanted to go to Minecon because I just wanted one of those capes so bad. <laughs> That's the only reason I wanted to go. I mean, sometimes seeing seeing my favorite YouTubers would be great. But I've never been to a convention. I always wanted to go to, like, Minecon, Comic-Con, but, like, eh. But, for the film, just did you just leave? Hey, guys, we're back. Sorry, there was a bit of a technical difficulty. Um, anyway, so, I've always wanted to go to, like, Minecon and stuff. It would always be a great experience, like, seeing my favorite YouTubers and Comic-Con, but I don't know. Going to conventions really doesn't seem like my thing. Also, that Comic-Con is a thousand times better than mine. Yeah, obviously. Uh, if I got tickets to Minecon and fifty dollars, and I had and it was like reduced cost for Comic-Con tickets, I'm buying Comic-Con tickets. That was a really bad way to explain that. Anyway, my qu know. question is, what does the epic live show mean? Oh, Isn't Free. It's like go somewhere, for uh, go somewhere and get money. But like, I, I would hate to be around those. Okay, don't he, don't don't get me wrong. I I love I love Minecraft, but I don't like Minecraft kids. You know oh yeah, I mean? 
It's a, like, it's a lot of kids at Minecon, which would be annoying. That's why I don't really like conventions, because there's just it's just too much, too much for me. It's an overload. You know. Yeah, th- and I feel like it would be surrounded by a bunch of people, especially when they're like, "Oh, does anyone have any questions?" Detonated oh. wham. <laughs> does anyone have any questions? Is Hero Brian Wheel? <laughs> oh my Where's god. Hero- why isn't he in the game? How can I summon him? Like, uh, why don't you guys add the Aether Dimension from the mods? <laughs> anyway, um... Herobrine is such an annoying concept to me. I, I found it interesting at first, and they really milked it. <laughs> people in school would be talking to me. Oh my it, gosh. Yeah. When people are, like, so, theorizing about Herobrine, like, oh my gosh, it's Minecraft, guys. Speaking of Herobrine... I just saw the weirdest picture on my Instagram feed. Oh no! Oh, your phone, <laughs> your, phone it's, it's to, your phone is listening to you. Your phone is your phone is listening to you. Uh, the phones are taking over. Anyway, so three things. Facebook broken. Three things. Uh, for the three questions I want to ask are: What are your hopes for the? What are our hopes for the games? Like, what games do you think they should make? Like, I, feel, like Minecraft. I don't like think Minecraft. they should do Minecraft again. I, I know, I love Minecraft Dungeons. It looks great. It's really, it looks like a fun RPG. It looks really great. Right? It doesn't... If they're going to do Minecraft again, they're going to have to take a different approach. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what other thing they can do with Minecraft. Because they have an RPG now. They have... Like a story telltale tale, <sighs> a telltale games version. Like what? Well, it's I'm thinking is Minecraft, but basically like Fallout seventy six. Can you the go? Con- <laughs> Can you yeah, go yeah, yeah. yeah, the concept of Fallout seventy six. In Minecraft. Can you explain fall- this Fallout 76? Because I've never played it. You never played it? I- I've never played it, but, um... Okay, here we go. It's pretty... Because I get... I, I don't, people are telling me it's not worth buying. Yeah, it's... Cause... It doesn't seem like it. I'd rather get the other Fallout games. So, if, have, you ever, have you played any Fallout games? No. I want to play some of them, but I don't know. Fallout 4 is probably my favorite one. But, so far, the reviews on Fallout 76, they're around literally a 2.7. <laughs> it's yeah. either... Oh, God. Seems pretty bad. Here, let me see. Let me read one of the one stars, and I'll read one of the five stars. Okay, that one is extremely long. Um, <laughs> who's so mad? I don't get that. <laughs> Calm down. You, anyway. When you understand when game developers disgrace their ser- like series, like you know, people get mad. Actually, I have a really good example of that. I can uh, put this with Minecraft too. Yeah. So remember how I was talking about Danganronpa? Christ, all of them are like 18 paragraphs. I'm, while you're looking through those, I'm going to explain this to you. Also, okay, I found one, I found one, okay. I found one. This is a one-star review by Jesse Boger. Oh, exposed. Between Xbox support making fun of me, and all the multiplayer games tormenting me like Gears, Halo, and every other game that doesn't even deserve a cent spent on it, what? I can't believe I looked forward to the next Fallout game. For years, this series helped me through a lot of pain in my life. Imagine when I found out what this game was going to be. What a joke. The sad thing is, I had so much hope for the next Fallout game to help me through the mockery that Xbox has put me through. An illness in my family. You have, in all capitals, you have mocked my very being as if I was garbage. Oh my god. There's no words. (laughs) There's no... (laughs) I shouldn't be laughing at this. This is awful. There's no words, Bethesda, that I can say to you to express how I feel. 
Not only this well, clearly there's a lot of words. But you knocked me down, calling me a no longer Fallout fan, a piece of trash with this game. <laughs> I wonder what's so bad about this game compared to the other. Like, I've heard my it. My brother thought it was trash. I've heard it was so trash, but I've never played a Fallout game, so I don't. I feel like if I played Fallout 76 first, then I wouldn't have a problem with it. Right. Because when you play a really bad game, it's like, here, uh, the Paper Mario series, right? There's this one, that like, Sticker Star, right? And Luigi's yeah. Mansion, Darkling, right? Everyone hates those games. Everyone hates... Like yeah, they were one of my first games. My On my 3DS, I played Dark Moon, I played Sticker Star, I played them all the time, and I loved them. Maybe it's because I hadn't played the other games in the series. I didn't have the set expectations, right? Yeah. But when I go back to when the you have set expectations, they expect it to be completely. Yeah. So that I have a, an amazing example. I have an amazing example of this. Also, if you haven't played Danganronpa, <laughs> please just like I'll put a time stamp to skip to, right in the description. Okay. But. <laughs> Dangarapa is a game it's like a killing game right so it's si yeah it's 16 kids are forced to kill each other until there's like a couple in the end couple survivors they have to find out who the mastermind is and then escape right so the first and second games I don't really care for the first one but the second game is amazing right and the third game is probably one of the best games in the series there's a bunch of spin, spin, spin offs right but in the third game it's such a good game, like, all the characters, it's so great, it has the best animation, and the ending, they reveal that it was all just fake, it was all a TV show that you had to uh, interview for, everything about it was faked, which made a lot of fans angry, because all these characters that they cared about and invested their time in, it didn't, it never happened, it wasn't real. But at the same time, Obviously, like, either way, the video game. Yeah, but the, in in the series, it's like this big uh, event happens. It, but it's like all a TV show. Though I personally, I like the ending. But the one problem I have with it is it's Danganronpa one, Danganronpa two, Danganronpa V three. The reason I always thought it was weird that it was V three instead of just Danganronpa three, and I thought. It was that recent because they have an anime called Danganronpa 3, which, like, you know, was part of the series. But really, it was Danganronpa V3 because it was the 53rd. Oh, dang. So, that made me so mad. It's like, maybe the fallout. But they skipped, like, 51 <laughs> games, and then just kind of, it had to end there because they found out the plot. So, if you were to play another, if they came out with another Danganronpa game, like Danganronpa... Imagine how Xbox fans feel. <laughs> yeah, but Danganronpa 3, right? If they came out with, like, 3 or 4, we would have to go back to that and know this doesn't matter. <laughs> There's nothing impactful happening here. You know, I just wish they came out with more games before they just abruptly ended the series. Because we didn't end up getting that many characters... And, I don't know, it just bothered me a little. <laughs> but, yeah, I, get that. I didn't, Anyways, let's yeah. Get to the five -star review. Let's get to the five-star review. Oh, okay. Uh, this one is by... Wait, I need to find out what time. I'm gonna just say skip to 29 to give me... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, continue. From a uh, five-star review on Fallout 76 by Cowboy Man, Dustin Vetterman. <laughs> started playing started playing in December of 2019 and I have to say that as a Fallout 4 fan this has been incredibly fun I've encountered a few bugs and had one crash but it's not game breaking by any means I've been recommending this game to everybody that I know enjoyed Fallout 4 if you enjoyed Fallout 3 then the new dialogue that's coming with Wastelanders expansion should entice you I sincerely believe that while Bethesda has made some mistakes with the launch of this game they really strive to give the player, the player, um, yeah, the player base, a fun environment to explore. 
I've more than got my money worth out of this experience so far, and I've even enrolled in their optional monthly subscription service. If a developer makes a game that I enjoy, I have no problem parting with my cold hard cash. Give the game a shot. If you don't like it, you lost a bit of cash. But if you're like me and you like it, you've, you've gained a really fun time. Enjoy. Hmm. See, I like that guy. Yeah. He, see he wasn't telling you to go buy it. He wasn't saying anything. That guy, okay. Those two remind me of the people that are like in Net Fortnite now. Like Fortnite Chapter 2. Those are the people that like hate it. Because it's not mm -hmm. nostalgic. Right. It's not, the same it's not the same as the beginning of Fortnite. But the, of course they have to change the game. And obviously... People complain because they're like, oh, they're not listening to the player base. But if they listen to the big player base, which is not the competitive players, they listen to the big player base, then the competitive player gets mad, right? But if they listen to the competitive players, the player base gets mad. So there's no winning for them at this point unless they just reverse the whole game back to, like, the original, which would be awful. Because no one would enjoy that, really. Because... <laughs> If they just brought it back to the original game, then people would be asking for new stuff. But if they add new stuff, then people don't like that. So there's just this mob effect that if one person speaks out about something, like... No one else likes it. Yeah, exactly. Also, I think we can move on from this Minecraft thing, because this is just like a video game rant thing. Also, the movie is definitely going to be about Minecraft, which concerns me a lot. <laughs> I just, I have I this. Don't want to see Minecraft movie. I don't. Uh, anyway, next. A debate about real life. This I like how this slide is so empty. Should states start. Re <laughs> yeah, everything else is like, wow. Reopening now or wait until later? Because the debate's just like. So, how do you feel about this? This is like real life talk. So, like, for those of you suffering from. We can't say the name because then our video might get taken down. But from the disease, oh, the pandemic, <laughs> the pandemic, you know. Uh, epidemic. <laughs> yeah. If you're suffering, but I don't think they I, should. I, I... Uh, <laughs> uh, what's your opinion? So, I don't think countries should reopen. I don't think entire country should open, like, as a whole at the same time. Yeah. Because that's fucking stupid. Justice. I, I mean, I don't oh. care about it. doesn't matter for now. Because, <laughs> you know, we're oh, not getting monetized and stuff. So, but yeah. once we start getting monetized, which is... I'll, I'll, I'll rethink that. That's, at, like, but... a thousand subscribers, though, so we don't have to deal with that for a long time. But... Um, what was I saying? That, uh, states... I don't agree with beaches reopening at all. Especially <sighs> here. We were second in cases. And now we're like, you know what? Take your shirts off. Get in a big body of water. Have a Actually, good time. the water hasn't been reopened yet, which I think is, like, lifeguards... So with just sand? Yeah, you just have to stay on the beach. Go to a beach with no water. <laughs> the water Why wasn't. A sandbox? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like opening the beaches is fine because they have the cops enforcing social distancing. But at the same time, what are the cops gonna do? Shoot in the sand to make sure yeah, the people yeah, stay yeah, apart? The yeah, they can't like push the people apart either because they don't want to touch the people. They're gonna touch them, yeah. Yeah. So the reason i think it's starting to get to summer and people are starting to freak out because you know their summers are being canceled and you know so i think it, letting people go to the beaches and start letting them op reopening like natural parks and stuff but try go to go in your backyard yeah if you don't have a backyard go to like i don't know a public park yeah but those are closed like there's a park actually the one by my grandma's house there's I a drove past park in my neighborhood um, and there's like caution tape all over it like i know some people closed only the bottom of the slides so if someone's gonna slide down they're going to be in the <laughs> like <laughs> that 
hurt my. This is like brittle boned babies. <laughs> I was watching. Like, come on, let's go down the slide. Crack. I was watching a video. It's like a r slash you had one job, and the people closed the bottom of the slide but left the top. So then, it uh, the YouTuber was making fun of it and was like, "What if some kid just slid down there and then saw that it was closed and then tried to climb back up and then they slowly closed the top, unscrew the slide, and then just take it into a truck?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the poor kid's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, um. That reminds me of the episode of Gumbo. Where he left his kids in the ball pit, and then the ball pit got taken out of the mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the amazing movie. role of Gumbo. It's a really good show. It's not my favorite Cartoon Network show, but I love Cartoon Network. It's probably one, it's definitely one of my one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite channels, but I don't really watch TV anymore that much. Anyway, so back they to just only play Teen Titans Go. I don't like that anymore. I, I... Victor, and, Victor and Valentino, new Cartoon Network show. I love it. Mm, I don't know. I haven't watched it, but after Clarence and Teen Titans Go, I've lost. So I actually respect loved them. Clarence. I loved Clarence. I felt <sighs> Clarence kind of gross sometimes, but Clarence had the same effect on me that regular show did, like. I a lot of people loved regular show, but I just felt I don't know, I didn't connect to it. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite. Uh let's see. I what's I loved regular show, I loved Clarence. I loved Chowder. I, I loved Flapjack. Chowder. Chowder and Flapjack were my Johnny two favorite Tech. shows when I was younger. Actually, I don't love Johnny Tech. Greg, uh, take that away. I like Johnny Bravo. I liked Johnny Tech. Johnny Tech was interesting. Johnny Tech used that whip crack sound so much. Yeah. <laughs> His sisters, though. The sisters, I don't know why, they were mine. So now, looking back, I don't know why, they're giving me insane James Charles vibes. I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) But if James Charles was a girl, (laughs) or a guy, I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you know what I'm (sighs) Yeah, James and Charles, if you if you watch no, right now. <laughs> no, we're not doing this again. Um, <laughs> what else was I talking? About? Oh yeah, should say start reopening. I think they should reopen more smaller businesses, like smaller restaurants, and let people go back there. But I don't think they should open the restaurants. I think they should really just spread out the tables and stuff and protect the waiters and get the waiters tested. Yeah, and, and like three families at a time? Yeah, honestly. That'd make... <sighs> I... Imagine Applebee's. Just three families in there. Yeah, but three Applebee's is a four... bigger company. Like, it has chains a lot. It has a lot of chains and stuff. So, but the well, small... What, is that, what does that mean? What does that mean? What do you mean? Like, th- like I want the small... The same... The smaller companies, right? Why smaller companies? So they keep in business. Because I don't want to yeah, come. If Applebee's, Applebee's, say Applebee's gets no money, right? They're going to start struggling. Like the CEO is probably going to resign, take a bunch of money. I don't think. And Applebee's going to be going to be struggling in the end. I don't think so. probably not. But yeah, like, like Applebee's, right. McDonald's, Burger King—they're not struggling. They're gonna be fine. There's a drive-through still. Yeah, those those are the companies that are gonna be doing great the McDonald's, whole time. As soon as I woke up today, I'm getting a call. I wake up to the call. I'm like, <clears throat> yo, what's up, up? Right, talking to my dad. Mm-hmm. Guess what? What? He was what you want from McDonald's. What? <laughs> What you want from McDonald's? I was like, um, uh, hash browns. McNuggets. <laughs> no, I ordered McNuggets when I wake up. What was I thinking? Yeah, what were you th- I usually I get felt so nauseous just looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want this. I remember, uh, since we're like moving to a bigger house, I know we're staying in the same like town, not like the same area. Right, because I want a backyard and I want a pool. That's all I care about, right? I want to move closer to the high school, but oh, you're gonna be moving by um, 
I was gonna say someone's name, but that's gonna be <laughs> never mind. Uh, I feel like I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I almost revealed someone's address. Yeah. Well, we don't know what high school. They don't know what high school. But, uh, I want to live in one of those bigger areas where I can have, like, an actual yard. And, like, my dad I don't even want to live in a big house. I'd be okay if I had a smaller house with a big yard. I want a big yard just for my pool, maybe a trampoline. My dad wants a greenhouse. And somewhere for just Gemma, my dog, to run around, you know? I just want to own a more land. But currently, I have, like, a small yard. And a very energetic dog. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, I'm gonna miss the wildlife in my area because we have foxes, groundhogs, deer. Yeah, you're fully totally gonna miss that until until your dog is like torn up by a fox. Actually, no. The foxes are terrified of my dog. She chases after them, and they she'll start barking. And they run. I think they you let them. No, we don't. If like, you let her, just run? no. She's so fast. <laughs> like she sees one of the foxes, right? And she'll look at it, she'll start shaking, she'll start barking, like, Gemma, no, don't you dare. And Gemma doesn't listen to me, so she sprints at full speed, and this tiny Chewini is running <laughs> and, like, leaping through the air. Also, oh, yeah, um, I forgot to ask. Cap and gowns. Mm -hmm. Graduation. Are you gonna get yours? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna get it, but, like, I don't know what the point of it is. Yeah. Just a cap and gown? Because my mom paid for it, so, like, she was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste money. Yeah. Also, but, like, I don't get what the point is. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Now, do you just want to talk about whatever for the rest? Yeah. Because we had it. We can, um, I just want to tell a story to everyone. Yeah, we can have our guests. Anyway, so, one last final funny story. So, yesterday, uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was my sister's birthday. Right, so, my dad's outside, he's grilling, he's making jerk chicken, he's making hot dogs. I missed that last time. I didn't get to have it. It's so good. Anyway, so, he's making, he's grilling for my sister's birthday, and my mom's, like, baking a cake. So my dad's outside, and I'm just chilling outside with him and my dog. So my dad's, like, walking around, right? So then he looks over there, and he sees something run out of the bushes. It was by my grandma's house. My grandma lives, like, right next to me. Hold on right? a second. Hold on. Yeah? Something's happening down for Okay. Oh, where was I? Um... So we were outside, and he sees something running out of the bushes, and it was a groundhog, right? So he walks over there, and the groundhog, he hates those groundhogs. They eat his flowers and stuff, right? Yeah, they eat his flowers. Yeah. <laughs> so he's he's walking over there, and the groundhog's just looking at him. And then a fox pops up from behind my grandma's house and looks at the groundhog. Mm -hmm. The groundhog is terrified. Because my dad's there, and the, and the fox is there. So the groundhog, in the rain, runs up the tree. Climbs up the tree. Oh, that's where the tree hog came from. And got stuck in the tree. For hours. My whole family came outside, we were looking at it, we were laughing at it. That thing was terrified, I have so many pictures of it. It was so scary. <laughs> oh god, those groundhogs are so fat. Oh, uh, they're so ugly. But it was just, it was just sitting, it looks like a porcupine. It was so funny. And then, I hated how it was raining, right? But we had the umbrella up, uh, and my dad and I were sitting at the table. Right? So the wind blows, later, we're sitting at the table, the wind blows, the tree hog still isn't down yet. The wind blows, the water comes off the, a little bit of water comes off the umbrella, and hits my neck. Right? So then, <laughs> later, I'm like, whoa, man, there must be a lot of water stored up there. So then the wind blows again, and all the water on the umbrella just pours onto my dad. It was hilarious. <laughs> and I knew it was coming, because I, 
I saw the water falling down, and I didn't say anything. Which is probably, oh, that's awful of you. No, it was so funny. And my dog, my dog, like, ran for her life. She was terrified, because she wasn't, like, getting water on her. Uh, and then later, the tree hog just fell from the tree and then ran. Yeah, yesterday was a pretty funny day. I ended up... Huh? Did it just run up? Yeah. It just ran straight up. And I have so many pictures. It just ran up the tree. And couldn't get down. <laughs> so it was like really hugging onto that tree. It probably just got tired and fell off. Yeah. yeah. So do you want to end our uh normal, not normal section, our like beginning section here and then... We can have our guest section. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So, now we will be having our guest. His name is Kellogg's. Awesome, actually. Yeah, his name is Kellogg's, and he's going to be joining us to talk a little bit with us. And we're going to play a game with him. Uh, So, that segment will be coming soon. Well, you guys will be able to see it. We're recording it on separate days. Uh, And, yeah. Now introducing our guest, Kellogg's.
I, I, the character, hey guys, <laughs> uh, welcome back to the guest segment, uh, now we're gonna be introducing our guest, Kellogg's, uh, Kellogg, say hi. Hello. Okay, uh, Kellogg's, tell us a little, tell us a little about yourself, you know, uh, like, some things that you like to do. Uh, so, hi, my Kellogg, part of the fridge, from the UK. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I mainly, for my free time, I'm in this game, but I do quite a lot of things like reading. Fun. And making a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, tell us a bit what it's like in England, you know, since we're from America. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cold. <laughs> it rains a lot of the time. <laughs> I thought you were just going to end it. It's pretty cold. <laughs> Yeah, when I went there in the summer, it was like, eh. but I was in an attic, and it was really hot only there, but then when we would, like, leave the house, it was freezing cold. Yeah, we Airbnb'd in England. Oh, neat, what did you say? Solid question. <laughs> um, it was near London, like, Very big. yeah, it was... More of a suburban area near London. I need to ask my parents where exactly. Is it but sorry, Banny. Sorry, Banny. Uh, I'll ask. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Cause I live in a sub area. Sub area. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, so would you like to tell us like a story or how? Do you have a topic you want to talk about? Uh, I do have a topic. So. The two people listen. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are aware of the uh, popular game franchise known as FIFA, which is football as we call it, or soccer. In it. Imagine calling and, um, soccer. It's a very football. popular game. <laughs> England, especially. Popular in the US, but in I'd say anybody you ask, the game is. I'm pretty. Like, it's, it's well, it's, like, known by everyone. Yeah. But, uh, so a lot of people just, just play FIFA, and they call themselves gamers. <laughs> and I just find this utterly <laughs> repulsive. FIFA is my least favorite game of all time. Wow. I don't well, understand don't why it's such following. And I understand that it, it's football, England likes football, but... It's not innovative. It's the same game every year. Yeah. I... No, 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 no. They can't change the number on the title, and that's it. <laughs> that somehow warrants a six goal game. And I uh, just... You know, so... a, lot of, a lot of sports games are like that. I feel like it's just the lack of content that the sports give them that they have not much room to work with, but I don't play much sports games. The best I've ever done. See, Madden, Madden added a, um, like a story mode. Hmm. Uh, I mean, long shot. The story about a kid growing up, um, and just basically his, uh, journey to the NFL. I think FIFA did that, but that was like three, like, games. Alright, can <laughs> Okay, we're back. Okay, so we're back. Anyway, so yeah, they added this. I think, honestly, with a lot of, I don't know, other games, they probably would have released that in the story mode, but that came with a whole new game. That's kind of been the main argument that people give for FIFA in the story mode. It's like, it's really giving the game a new thing, but nobody plays it. Is it even any good? I. I'm sick of it because everyone in my school plays it. That's all they talk about. But they all just play Ultimate Team. The most mm. popular one. Yeah. So I did some research. And it turns out that it's around fifty million dollars spent on FIFA, games, and this is on top of already the already sixty dollar game. Oh my gosh. So that, that's a lot of. Money. That's eleven percent of EA sales per year from just. Doing a page. 
That's, that's my problem crazy. with gamers who play FIFA calling themselves gamers and that. The only way to win the game is if pay to win the game. Man. So it's just, it's not very skill based. Like, I there is skill to the game and that there is trading, but for the most part, speed up money to get better. Sounds like an EA game right there. <laughs> That's just, yeah, that's just any, and I just, yeah, I hate how a lot of people just kind of come away from quality of content and just kind of gone for, and quantity of content, so, yeah. and just kind of gone for the same uh, fail-safe way of money through the, uh, through, uh, in-game purchases in order to make yourself better. EA makes most of their money off of just uh, in in game transition transactions. Oh my gosh, transition. which <laughs> transaction? Uh, but it's it's so dumb because they make everything so expensive, and not only that, they make their games expensive. But it's you would think about it, right? Some people are like, oh, but free games like uh, Fortnite, other free games oh, like a lot of mobile games, they make their money off in-game transactions, right? Yeah, but, but their like, games don't cost $60! Yeah. That's crazy. Obviously... Most of them are free. Yeah, obviously, I don't have much... Not obviously, but I don't have much, like, sports games. <laughs> uh, I mean... Yeah, I, I, I have Mario Sluggers, I have Mario Tennis, <laughs> and I've, I've played Madden once at my friend's house, but I have a lot of experience with EA games and a lot of their games are just the only way to get anywhere is to spend so much money. Like a lot of the Star Wars games. Like... Star Wars Battle is good. Yeah, but... Money wasn't Hunt? that big Which one? Power. You go to Battle 2. And that's 2 just... is good. First one, god awful. <laughs> what do you mean? I just... Say, I... First one, good. And the, the second first one, one got so boring. I I really enjoyed the, the second one play was just it added like it added some more heroes but a lot of those you had to pay for or to play a lot for I think. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like yay. <laughs> but then when you were talking about Fortnite, like a lot of people don't like the idea of V Bucks, but at least with V Bucks it's not pay to win. If you spend a lot of it just paid to look cool. Yeah, it's it's cool. it's just the flex. <laughs> and they don't find anything wrong with it. Like yeah. In Animal Crossing, like people buying villages off the black market. Oh god, that's so awful. <laughs> towns look better, but like at least it's not like I don't. Know. Well, it's kind of a bad. I don't. FIFA is a competitive game, but I yeah. it's it's just a Fortnite. It's the cosmetic purchase. Yeah, right. and it's right. so everyone's characters, like, look different and stuff, and so everyone has their own experience, you know, and... And I but, think that's why they added the new, like, customizable stuff. Yeah, also, mm -hmm. again, it is, in fact, a free game, so they need to make money off it. I'm sure Epic Games was doing fine on making money before Fortnite, right? But they really skyrocketed and became a big name once Fortnite came out. Well, not really once Fortnite came out. Maybe, like, Season 3. They became a really big name. And they have the Epic Games Store now, which they're giving away games for free. Like, GTA 5? That's crazy. They're making so much money. Oh, sorry. Wait, they're making s so much money off of things. Like, they're doing great now. And obviously, they're still making people buy V-Bucks and stuff. But again, they give them away the Battle Passes, which come out, like, every three or four months. Sometimes, usually, they delay it. But it's supposed to be every three or four months. You come out with the new Battle Pass, and you get V-Bucks for it. And it only costs, like, $10, and you get, I don't know, maybe $8 back. <laughs> yeah. No, no, with the Battle Pass, I think... If I remember correctly, played Fortnite was that once you actually bought the battle, were set in V Bucks or anything. 
because I think it gave you enough V bucks to get the next battle pass season. That's yeah, that's such a good deal, you know. You get a bunch of free items, and you can buy the next one again. Is a continuous cycle. So, like for those players that can only spend maybe ten dollars on the game, they can get the battle pass every single season <laughs> just by playing the game. And you, should, I don't know if FIFA gives just gives away free money. You know. No. People make the uh, the argument that FIFA isn't exactly paid away, and win. and while that's true, like you just cannot get to the level of like you can't get the same players from just playing to spending FIFA points. It just yeah. won't happen. It's just it would be too grindy. It would take too long. So yeah, I don't. I don't. I just. Yeah, a lot of games are like that where you really need to spend money to get anywhere, which is crazy. Uh, but uh, a lot of games handle it better. But some games you need to spend money just to like continue playing. Like there are online subscriptions in video games. You know, I just feel <laughs> that's kind of. Yeah, like, I got Rocket League for my PS4. I didn't know that you need PS Plus to play it, which is crazy. That you have oh, to... Yeah. <laughs> that you have to spend money just to play, like, a $60 game to spend an, a monthly subscription? I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> with everything now, Nintendo, but it all started with um, Xbox Live. Yeah. They started for that. Not that great server so that like oh it must uh and then uh, sorry and then uh sony saw that we can do the same thing so. yeah the thing with, <laughs> but the thing with nintendo is most of their games that have nintendo switch online right there's like a normal way to play like mario kart and super smash bros you can play with cpus and stuff but with uh, but with a uh, Rocket League, right? Well, you, you can can't... play CPUs with Rocket League, but that's just like nobody does. Yeah, there's no, there's no point in that. <sighs> anyway, do you guys want to move on to the game? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. So I need to, yeah, exit out here. Uh, so our first movie quote, or actually, I should explain this. Uh, our game is going to be guess that movie quote. So I'm going to present a quote to those to the players, right? And they're going to say which movie it's from. But they're going to take turns. So, like, the first one, let's say I'd say a movie quote. And then it would go to Justice, right? And if he doesn't get it in a certain amount of time, we'll give him, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> and how long should you guys have? Maybe, like... 30 seconds to a minute. I'd say let's just figure it out. I think we should just give 30 seconds. <laughs> because, like... That sounds good. Huh? I said that's good. Okay. So, 30 seconds. And then um, you're going to get 30 seconds to guess the quote. If you can't get it, then the next person has another 30 seconds to guess the quote. And whoever gets that gets a point. Okay? So let's start off with the first quote. Uh, it's, let's go to Justice, right? Justice, the first quote is, Toto, I've got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Your 30 seconds is starting now. Are you kidding? Wizard of Oz. <laughs> okay, Justice gets one point. Now, Kellogg's, you will be going next. Okay, so our second quote is, You can't handle the truth. Your 30 seconds starts now. I could be like, okay, I'm going to be honest. I didn't even know the first one. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to be too good with this. <laughs> really? Uh, say... Wait, can you repeat the quote, please? Uh, you can't handle the truth. Let me just transparent that. Mm. Um. Can I get a 
him. Uh. Oh man. Okay. Sorry. About <laughs> that. I need to. Sir, let's see. Uh. An acronym. How about I give some of the actors? How about I give some actors? You know, uh, Kevin Bacon, Tom Cruise, uh, James Marshall. What? Anyway, uh, Nicholson. Yeah. Do you do you know? So bad at this. Take a guess. Okay. Uh, Mad Max. No, I'm sorry, Justice. Uh, your timer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two points. I don't know if these are really American movies, so I'm gonna feel bad if you don't yeah. know any of them. Okay. I I think you should know some of these. Uh, Justice, your quote is you're <laughs> you're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> I feel like Justice Bro, is getting. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what was my A few good men. I didn't even know that. I, like, I didn't it's like, it's like a war movie. Um, okay. So, I, oh man. I, okay. Kellogg's, it's your turn. I swear to God, if you give me, like, some, like, from 1970. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. Uh, your quote is, may, may the force be with you. Also, you have to say the exact movie that it's from. Oh, come on. All of them are from, like, every single, it's probably in every single movie, though. Like the original one. Oh, the original one. Uh, Star Wars. So, it goes, Revenge of the... Star Wars Re Huh? Jedi? Let's see. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Is it not Star Wars? And it's, wait, is that like the yeah. latest? No, that's, that's the latest, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not that one. It's... No, 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 no I got it. It's okay. Um, you have you 15 seconds. Star Wars. Can you repeat that? Your mic keeps cutting out. I don't know why. I need to. Second segment. You don't say oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. I actually know the answer. Actually. Okay, what is it? It's a new hope, right? Yeah, okay. You had, you had eight seconds left. So, that's one point for Kellogg's. I don't, I don't know how this is going to go because you have like. I don't know, one point in just it says, I don't know how many quotes there are, but. I have three. Yeah. I justice. Three. Yeah. Justice, it's your turn. Okay, so I. Uh, <laughs> I feel like justice is getting really easy ones. Um, your next one is It's a lie. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> Wait, isn't it? Monster, though. <laughs> well, no, the movie is Frankenstein. Oh. So, oh man, I uh, I hope this next I hope this next one's really easy. Um. Oh yeah. Okay, you got this. Uh, your next one is To Infinity and Beyond. I'm gonna have to go. Story. Okay. So. <laughs> two points. Two points. You have two, oh, point. get two points. No, you have two points oh, in general. Can I get this? No. Um. <laughs> justice. Justice. Uh, your next quote is, "I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse." The Godfather. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> okay. So that's five points for Justice and two points for Kellogg. Going great, dude. Okay, Kellogg's your last quote. Just, I was just, I was 
Why? Because he's gotten the ones that you haven't gotten. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> this definitely isn't fair. Uh, I should have started with Kellogg's. Because that would have made it so much... He would have gotten... Yeah. <laughs> well, man, I would have done... Like, I... I don't watch... I also feel like these are very American movies. Like, A Few Good Men is like an American war movie. Anyway. Oh, yeah, no, I don't... Yeah, our last quote, Kellogg's, is... Rhodes... Where we're going, we don't need roads. I really hope you get this. Um. Road. We don't need roads. Uh. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> Your quote is, Roads, <laughs> where we're going, we don't need roads. Such a better quote from that movie. I know, but I just <laughs> I it's literally such an iconic. I googled all of the. Oh, I googled all of these quotes. Just like top uh, one hundred most famous movie Wait. quotes. Words. Do, do you know it? Did that pop, that actually pop. Did you? Did yeah, did, did you get it? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? You got it. Okay. Um, when they go flying. Probably. Yeah. Thank you, Kellogg's. Uh, I'm so what happy. Like, what, why was that? I don't know. I just picked some quotes, okay? Just on Great Scott. That was... Yeah, but that was that would have been so obvious. Dude, you're like speaking to me. I don't even know what Star Wars is. We're going to need a bigger boat. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I just picked top 100 <laughs> quotes, movie, iconic movie quotes. I, th I didn't think this would be have to be that hard. <laughs> I don't know. Um. <laughs> well, it was Justice Wins five to three. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kellogg's. I <laughs> I should have. No, no, no. Can we have like a bonus? You want a bonus? Yeah, add some more. Add some more. I can't just. Back to the website. <sighs> Okay, yeah, uh... We're gonna... Well, I'm... You know what? How about we do this? We're going off the grid. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick, like, a hundred movie quotes. Uh, so I'm gonna read off these quotes, and you have to guess what movie they're from and what year they came out. Okay. Oh, what? <sighs> Actually, that might be too hard. No, 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 you leave it, because you don't know. Okay, okay. If if some if Kellogg's if you come through with this, it'll it's one point for each thing. Okay. So, oh man, I. Uh, I'm the king of the world. <laughs> uh, who's this going to? Justice, justice. Uh, the quote is, "I'm the king of the world," and I'll give you guys one hint. Okay. Titanic. <sighs> yeah. Uh. What? What year? Um. 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 Hold on. He's gonna Google it. Uh, Kellogg's. He's googling um, it. He's googling Kellogg's. Ninety. Ninety six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> he only gets one point. He said ninety six. Uh, it was ninety seven. Ah ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay. I was originally gonna say ninety-eight too. Man, you were you, you were so close. Man, some of these quotes are awful. <laughs> okay, uh, Kellogg's. It's hasta la vista, baby. Um, <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> what? Like a, I don't know. Um, Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Indiana Jones. No. It's not Indiana <laughs> Okay. It's Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Yeah, I haven't. I, I'm I just. You picked the wrong guy. To... I just. I, I didn't. I, I didn't think this would happen. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
<laughs> I need I need one that's not gonna be so extremely obvious. Uh no, just take the obvious one. That would I Yeah, but we've given obvious ones and you haven't got them. <laughs> yeah, but... Um Uh, I don't know any of these movies, <laughs> so why would well, maybe I do? Uh, <laughs> man, uh, Justice. You see here? I mean, I'm <laughs> pause. <laughs> okay, Kellogg. Uh, your next quote is "There is no place like home." Um, oh, why would he know this one? I said it earlier. I said it earlier. <laughs> it was literally the first thing I said. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if we. Okay. I'm just gonna keep giving Kellogg's until he gets one. Is that okay with you, Justin? Yeah. This just go ahead. Uh, um. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Bond. James Bond. You have to guess <laughs> what? <laughs> Kellogg's? Yes. <laughs> Do you know what it's from? James Bond. <laughs> Which James Bond movie? All of them. <laughs> I'll give it to you. What? <laughs> but it's from the original Doctor No <laughs> uh, James Bond movie. What year did that come out? Kellogg's uh, just looking up 1968. 1962. Okay, Kellogg's, you get one point. <laughs> Dude, I'm on so fire. So one, one? No, it's six. It's six four. <laughs> oh, I thought we were restarting. No, uh, Kellogg's. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you one more, just because I feel like you can get this. Uh, a census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans <laughs> and a nice Gianti. <laughs> a census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and nice chianti and a nice chianti. The silence of it's the silence of the lamb, Kellogg's. I don't know that. I, not even a, yeah, I thought that was just Bible. <laughs> That's a. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Can you say the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, okay, Kellogg's. Yeah, I'm, so I'm giving you one last chance, and if you don't get this, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Okay. <laughs> it's E.T. Phone home. That from the famous movie E.T. <laughs> yes. What? What year? <laughs> What year? <laughs> Hold on, uh, I'm gonna guess. Don't tell me if I'm right. Eighty-six. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's much older. Than you can tell. Well, no, no, no. It has to be after our uh Yoda made a cameo and like later. Eighty-four. Is is he, no? Uh, seventy-nine. Is that your final answer? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Seventy-six. No, stop going. No, guys, it's in the 80s. 82, 82. Thank you, thank you, Kellogg's. Okay, so you get two points. Uh, it's six to six. Oh no, how did this happen? So, uh, Kellogg's, what, what movies do you know? What are some really good British movies? I know the British people don't make good movies, but what are some big British movies? Um, oh my gosh! Oh, this this hurts. Okay, so for the last round, I'm gonna give you guys a quote, and you guys have to guess what it is, right? Whoever answers first, Whoever answers first right? And now I'll break the tie, and if Kellogg's wins, this is gonna be so sad. So, um. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, 
here. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find a quote, and you guys are gonna have to say what movie it's from. Okay. Why did I say something else? Like I don't know. No, it's it's too late into this. Game in fact, I know. But... Gone so bad. Okay. Uh. Here, here. It's I still believe in heroes. I'm gonna give you a hint. It's from a Marvel movie. Both of you, whoever can guess the move Marvel movie it's from, right? I'll even tell you who said it. It was Nick Fury that said it, and the quote is, "I still believe in heroes." The first person to to say which event to say which move Marvel movie it's from. Iron Man one. No. Oh my gosh. Justice. Uh, oh, the first Avengers. The Avengers. First what? Avengers. What's it called? Uh, Avengers. Avengers Assemble. Avengers Assemble. Kellogg's. <laughs> kidding, it's from 2012. Kellogg's. <laughs> okay. Um, guys, <laughs> thanks. Thank you for watching. <laughs> this was the first episode of what? the. Isn't that Avengers Assemble? Yeah, it is. I googled it. Um. It is? I thought that was the new cartoon. <laughs> Isn't that the Ultimate Avengers? Something? No, it's Spider Man. I don't know. Um. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of the Fridge Podcast. I I hope you guys somehow found a way to enjoy this. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, ben, I don't know what... <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't understand how you didn't get like any of. The... I well, you still won in the end, so it's it's fine. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and <laughs> I I hope you guys in- enjoyed this. I really hope you did, and if you did, come back next Wednesday, and there will probably be another episode of this podcast, maybe shorter because this was mayhem. And it's probably going to be even harder to edit. I'll see you guys next time. Everyone say bye. Bye. Okay.